Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to uh, some business news updates at midday. Tallow Oil says it expects some turnaround in its fortunes following the favorable ruling by the UN International Tribunal. The decision by the German-based court now allows Tallow to go ahead with fresh drillings on the 10 oil fields. It also threw out most of Ivory Coast's arguments but made some modifications to, the, to Ghana's maritime boundary. There's more in this business desk report. According to Talu, the projected improved fortunes will be based on them hitting their expected production target of 80,000 barrels of crude from the 10 oil fields and a positive investment reaction following the ruling, which would impact on earnings. Charles Darko is the managing director of Talu. This ruling it should send the right signal to the investor community or remove any doubt if anyone had any, any doubts around the, the boundary. So that's now clear. So anyone who wanted to work around investing in that area should see their way clear. I mean, we as Talo are pleased with the outcome being not impacting us, you know, in terms of our 10 fields. I mean, it's a good news story. So, you know, hope expectantly it should give us, it should allay any fears around the border issue for anyone, investors, ourselves, the government and everybody, all stakeholders. Press reviews so far seem positive, you know, so this is a good idea. Talo Oil is now planning to start fresh drillings on the country's second biggest oil field in the Trinibua Enyira in Tom field by December this year. This would increase the total crude production from the country's oil fields by more than 30,000 barrels, a development that would help daily crude production reach 200,000 from next year. Precious Minerals marketing company PMMC is to go through a period of restructuring to step up productivity levels. This was disclosed by a newly appointed board chairperson of the company, Kirsten Akuminkisi, during the swearing-in of the new board members in Accra. He also revealed plans to refinance all outstanding debts of the company to ensure effective trade in precious minerals and jewelry, both locally and internationally. We'll bring you more on these and other stories shortly on the marketplace. My name is Imano Abuajiri Afi. Good afternoon.